Uh, if that's a game we should win. And we're at home. And no disrespect to Montreal, but we're playing a team that, uh, you know, if we're on our level, uh, we should be. And, uh, you know, we dropped three points today. And it's, it's really disappointing. I know the guys are disappointing, disappointed. Um, you know, it happens. Unfortunately, it happens in MLS. You see these results. Um, but if you want to be a team that's fighting for trophies at the end, it can't happen to, to us. And unfortunately, we we dropped the game that we should win. And so now it's going to get a little harder. And now we have to make up for it by going and winning on the road. It's that simple. Thank you, Caleb. For our first question, we'll go to Jacob Myers. If you would like a next question, please make sure you raise your hand and I'll call upon you. And please let us know who you are addressing the question to. Jacob, go Caleb, ahead. Caleb, what was the gist of what was said in the locker room? Exactly what I told you guys, just bad cool things. And you, you guys were around the box a lot in the second half. What, what was lacking in the attacking third, did you think, tonight? I mean, I always believe that you get what you put in in a, in a match and in a season, and uh, you got to fight for for what you get, you know. And and I thought it'd be easy, you know, to look at the stats on the day, and you know, obviously we outshot them by double, we had 60-40 possession, and so on and so forth. Um, but I still didn't think we put into the games what we needed to to ensure the three points. Um, we could have got out of there with a with a draw. Yeah, we can talk about the penalty kick, which again, I think, um, I don't know how they overturned that. It's not clear and obvious. We could talk about that. Um, we could talk about all the, you know, the chances that we had. Um, but at the end of the day, we, we, we fell short today. We fell short, both sides of the ball. Um, we gave up an early goal that we shouldn't give up. Uh, we battled back, which was good. Um, but then second half, we couldn't find another goal. Um, unfortunately, that's the way the game went, and we didn't get the result. Um, so we have to now recover three days, go on the road, and play one of the best teams in the league. We have to make up for today because we don't take care of business at home against teams you should beat. Uh, then now you have to do it the hard way. And so the guys are going to have to now go and grind on the road, and, and we've got a bunch of games coming up on the road, and we got to make up for this. Thank you, Caleb. Next, we'll go to Patrick, then Ori. If you would like a question after that for Caleb or one of our other panelists, please raise your hand. Patrick, go ahead. Caleb, what'd you make of the, the start of the game? Um, take maybe the goal out of it, but they were creating chances. It looked like you guys sort of switched up the way you were playing in possession, if, if I saw it right. Just what did you make of, of how you guys came out of the locker room to start the match? I thought we pressed well. Um, obviously, we saw on the film the way that they play. They overplay on the back, and I thought we were able to step up and turn them over time and again. So I thought we executed really all game in that regard. We just didn't, once we win the ball, create enough in transition. And I think our, um, you know, our quality to goal once we won the ball was, was good enough. With, with as many times as we turned them over high, um, we have to be better in, in transition. Um, you know, I thought. Early on, in terms of playing out, you know, the goal was to soften the press. I thought for some reason we, early in the game, tried to overplay, which wasn't what we planned to do. Um, and then when we started kicking, you know, obviously we were against the wind a little bit. We weren't, we weren't kicking the ball in the right spots. We wanted to go in behind the line to G so that now we can stretch them out, win the seconds, and then I'll get on the ball. And then from there, once we softened the press, we wanted to play. But we just had it wrong. We had it wrong to start the match. Too loose, um, a little sloppy in the ball. Um, we gave some balls away for, for in transition. Um, the goal came off a throw-in. You know where Lepelanen pulls off the line and then literally turns and threads the ball through our back four. Um, so it's it's really a situation that you know we have to get better. Obviously, it's not um, it's not a difficult play to manage. We just kind of switched off for a second. We didn't pick him up. And then we didn't drop our lines quick enough. So we got stunned there. Um, and I, 
I firmly believe that those things happen just when you're not in the right mindset. You know, and I just didn't think that, you know, I've seen this result a lot. You see it every week. You see it every week. This is like your classic MLS result where you got a team at the top of the table with playing a team at the bottom of the table. It's a little trap game. You see it all the time. And we're better than that. We're better than that. And the best teams don't lose this game. Um, but you do see um, with a lot of teams this, this result happen. But we don't want this result to happen. Uh, especially with the goals that we have and the standards that we have. Um, we knew they had some talent. They showed that. Um, you know, even in, even in a game where we didn't play as well as we should have, we dominated the game. But at the end of the day, you can't expect to win unless you put in you know, the work, and unless you're ready to fight for things, and unless you're going to execute, and unless you're going to show that quality, and unless you're going to um, respect the opponent. Thank you, Caleb. We still have time for a few more questions. If you'd like to ask a question to one of our other panelists, please let us know. Uh, next, we'll go to Ori. Ori, go ahead. Sorry about that. Uh, Caleb, what were your uh, impressions uh, for Aiden Morris today in his first start? Yeah, it's hard to obviously identify individual performances after the loss. Um, you know, but I thought you know, getting his first start, um, you know, he, he, he wasn't uh, the, pro the problem, right? It was a team problem. Um, we didn't execute. And, you know, listen, I thought overall for his first game, his first start, um, the kid did pretty well. Thanks, Gil. Up next, we'll go to Jacob Myers. Then Patrick Murphy, if you'd like a question after that, please raise your hand. This is for Jonathan. Jonathan, seven goals allowed in three games now. Just how does the defense return to form? Uh, what was the question? Sorry, no, you're good. You guys have allowed seven goals in the last three games after such a good start on defense. How do you guys return to form? What's not going right right now? Uh, we need to get back to, you know, uh, principles of defending, you know, and, um, you know, we've done a good job, you know, from, from the start of the season, you know, start restart and all that. So, um, you know, we just need to get back to, um, you know, what we do best. Uh, we need to watch some film and, and uh, get together again and, and start doing what we've been doing uh, in, in our previous games. We know we can do better. We cannot lose a game like this. Obviously, um, we lost it. We need to uh, put that behind us, you know, and, and, and go into the next game very strong because uh, if, you know, we want to be a championship team, uh, we need to be consistent. And, you know, we haven't been in that uh, in, in recent games, so we need to pick it up and, and do better. Thank you, Jonathan. So we begin to wrap this up, we'll go to Patrick Murphy, Tristan DeMores, Jacob Myers, and if you'd like a final question after that, please raise your hand. Patrick, go ahead. Yeah, question for Giassi. G, you guys have been near or at the top of the standings for most of the season. Um, how much does dropping out of that top spot impact you guys do you even think about that at this point in the year or is or is it still too early to really be paying attention to where you are in the standings yeah so uh you know we're at the top of the table for you know majority of the season but you know the biggest game is this weekend we play orlando it's a perfect opportunity to to stay at the top of the table you know so um we were unlucky tonight and i think it's extremely important that we start focusing on Orlando because, you know, a lot, a lot of things depend on that game, you know. Thank you, Jassy. Our final two questions will be from Tristan and then Jacob. Tristan, go ahead. Evening. A uh, question for Caleb. Uh, you were talking about the, uh, you, were, you were talking about the goal uh, and um, how you uh, how you didn't think it was a, a penalty or how it wasn't given a penalty. Uh, I was wondering what you saw from from the incident and 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 your your thoughts on that. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to make a game about that situation. 
um, because I know how it works, right? I bring that up and that becomes a headline and that becomes the excuse and, you know, and then, you know, Caleb Porter, the manager is whining and complaining about, you know, the call. Uh, today wasn't about that call. Um, you can watch it. You, you can look at the rules. Um, here are the rules that said it's supposed to be clear and obvious to overturn. We've now had two games where we've had calls overturned that in my opinion were clear and obvious. Thank you, Caleb. For our final question, we'll go to Jacob Myers. Caleb, uh, can we get an update on Lucas? What did his scan show? Great one, hamstring strain. We've got out a couple weeks. Thank you. Right, thank you, everyone. That's going to conclude tonight's media availability. Thank you for joining.